I'm here at the Humane Society in Connecticut. Excited. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all established in 1893 and we are centrally located in Meriden, Connecticut and we service the uh, regional areas of uh, really the entire state of Connecticut but primarily in the Meriden, Wallingford, Cheshire, Southington areas uh, in particular. Uh, we are a vast community member. We help our community by helping them with a uh, food pantry every month and we are always here for uh, their animal needs if they are in jeopardy of losing their home and they need to surrender their animal or they are looking to adopt. Uh, we are a huge resource uh, for our area in that way. So we process about 500 adoptions a year. So far we've processed about 180 adoptions this year thus far. Um, we have a very large uh, foster care program in addition to our on-site facility. Um, In-house we have up to 82 cats and up to 16 dogs at any really given time and foster care numbers can can be upwards of 75 to 90 animals at, at some points. So ladies where can people make donations? Oh, we can take donations through our Facebook account. We have a very active Facebook community. We can also take donations through our website at MeridanHumaneSocietyRescue.com and we are located at 311 Murdoch Avenue in Meriden, Connecticut, so we can take donations on site as well. And in addition to monetary donations, we also have Amazon and Chewy wish lists mm -hmm. that gives us much needed supplies for our animals and allows us to spend the bulk of our money on veterinary care. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to take this uh, opportunity to thank our volunteer and staff base. We really could not function if it were not for the love and the devotion and the complete teamwork that this organization has we would not be able to help the number of animals and our community if it were not for our volunteers and our staff. So we wholeheartedly and from the bottom of our hearts thank them tremendously. And we often say for every bad decision or poor decision that somebody from the community makes with regards to abusing an animal or abandoning animal, what we see is that there are 10 people that, that jump right into place mm -hmm. to, to make sure that animal has everything it possibly needs. Mm -hmm. And that's what we really love about our community. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You give her good pet? Inexplicable. <laughs> what she just fostered the puppy hi yes I have this great opportunity to foster this adorable little girl she's a Boston Terrier French Bulldog mix and she's only three and a half months old and she was just surrendered to us so I get to give her a home for a little while so that's a really perfect example of just the behind the scenes teamwork that has to come together in order for us to say yes to a rescue. Really a lot of things have to be put in place for us to rescue an animal and in that case that was a puppy that needed a foster home and so we not only had to have a team on site ready to assess that animal's needs and be able to provide for everything that it might have needed but we also had to have someone say yes at a moment's notice. So part of what makes our organization successful and work so well is a really robust foster care program that just a, just a bunch of community people that are just ready to say yes to an animal that might have a need. Do you miss me at all? Oh, yeah. Do you think about the Next things door. we used to do? Are you going to say animal rescue? No. No, you no. couldn't stand tall. Okay. <laughs> so why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you?